Hi, welcome back to Christie's Creations with a little yarn haul, um, kind of. <laughs> I just was having one of those days and decided that uh, I would share some stuff with you. So hopefully you will enjoy it too. Grab a cup. I have a very unusual cup of coffee tonight, which is the topper on the day. <laughs> My mom went through all her Christmas gifts and we was putting, you know, things away she got and baskets and this and that. And she brought this little package of coffee to work and she said, you want this? And I said, sure. So then I got home and I opened it and it says Southern Comfort Coffee. And I said, Southern Comfort Coffee? Hmm. <laughs> so I brewed a cup. <laughs> And at the bottom, it actually says to create the perfect cup of coffee, add a splash of Southern Comfort and enjoy with friends. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. But I do have a little teeny piece of candy cane in there and some Reese's Cup Creamer. So a little chocolate. <laughs> and I can really taste the chocolate and the and the candy cane and so that must not be real strong uh, flavor of any kind it's really good so what do we have today well one of my Valentine gifts to myself came in the other one is delayed I'm not gonna get it for Valentine's <sighs> I was supposed to get it today and they canceled the order so I have I reordered had to pay more and we'll have to wait to show that. But anyway, but the other one came today. But this is the last thing I'm going to show you. First thing I'm going to show you is my Mary Maxim kit uh, that came today. My subscription to Mary Maxim comes in a gray bag. You all know because you've all seen it also comes in a plastic carrying case that you a zippered pouch that you can uh, keep your project in or reuse later on or whatever this month is a baby blanket now some people would say I don't want to do baby stuff or I don't want um, that's a real bad glare in that but the, I'll take it out anyway I love it when they send me baby stuff because I don't always use the use it for a blanket. I, I use it for anything. Because they usually give you some awesome yarn when they send you a baby pattern. And that's exactly what they did. They sent this awesome blue marble. Which I used some in my last projects. It was not this one. But it was one very similar to it. And again, it's self-striping. It comes out with stripes just like in the pattern. You don't have to do anything, just crochet. This is called Mary Maxim Sugar Baby Stripes. And this one has, huh, made in Turkey, 295 yards, three light, So I got just about just about 1,200 yards of that. So I could make a lot, a lot of stuff with this or a, a blanket. So this is this is beautiful. It's really soft. Yeah, I like it a lot. So those those kits run just a little over twenty dollars, twenty one something. And that includes shipping. And that's that's pretty darn good, I think. So that's why I continue to get that one. Now the other thing I want to share with you today is that in my Facebook group, we up, we've been doing a swap every now and again. And this month's swap was a Valentine's swap. And I got my box. And um, she went way overboard. <laughs> But I wanted to share that with you because it's so much fun. And, you know, you always try to, like, 
find out what they like, what your partner's gonna, you know, what they like in color, what they like in yarns, or, or maybe something they haven't tried before that they wanna, and stuff like that. So, yeah, she, she went crazy. First thing is that she sent me a box of Andy's candies, and I absolutely love them. In fact, I love them so much I already opened it and ate them. <laughs> One or two. <laughs> The other thing she sent me is a uh, pocket calendar with dachshunds on it. And I love dachshunds. I have one, a mini dachshund. And in fact, if she looks just like that page. <laughs> She's a... Um, I forget what they call that. But anyway, she also sent me a horse calendar. Which, again, you know I'm a horse person. Doesn't mean... There's days when I don't love them. <laughs> just like last Saturday I don't love any of them but I do do love them yeah they're very very intelligent animals and they make you feel good most of the time she also sent me a package of round rings metal rings to use for towels uh, towel holders because I make a lot of towels and she probably thought that they'd be great for me and thank you very much yes they are okay now let's see the rest of the bag I, like I said she sent a big box and it was way overboard <laughs> these are uh, coasters there's four of them they're made out of ceramic so there's a lot of goodies in here then she sent two towels they're beautiful they're snowflake, but they're red and white. I love them. They are really nice. So that I can make up the towels. Isn't that cool? I like it. I thought that was that was super cool. Okay, now to the yarny goodness that's in here. We've got a skein of Reup. And this is a Lion brand. 85% cotton, 15% polyester. I have not tried this cotton yet, so I'm going to, and I think I'm going to knit with it just because I learned how to knit, and now I want to knit everything. <laughs> no, it's still going to be a crochet channel. It is my passion, has been since I was nine years old. It will never go away. I will always crochet, but it's just... It's just so new. This is a four ply. And this is called Red Rouge. And this re-up has 70 grams, 114 yards, 105 meters, 2.5 ounces, and it's made in Turkey. So then she sent me two uh, Ferris wheels. I, lo I love Ferris wheel and she knows that. So the Ferris wheel is also by Line Brand. This one's called Cotton Candy. It is a four ply medium. It is three ounces, 85 grams, 270 yards, 247 meters, 100% acrylic. It's beautiful and it is so soft. I've made a lot of things with it. Uh, one of the things I made with it was soft. Uh, was uh, fingerless gloves and they it comes out they're so soft you know so I, I really like this yarn I've made a lot of things I made a, a hat and a couple scarves and different stuff with it what else is in here Ooh, let's see there is some Patan's classic wool this one is a worsted. I have not used this one. It's 100% pure new wool. It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, made in Turkey. This color is wisteria. It's a four medium. Hand wash. Lay flat to dry. And I got two colorways. That is the Wisteria. And this is the Royal Purple. 
lighting is different because it's nighttime but you can see that's definitely the color that's that is the true colors so there's two wolves I have not tried these they're really nice thank you very much and then she sent see she knows me <laughs> very well because she sent purples and maroons <laughs> this one let's get the right color here this is a beautiful yarn now I've only tried this once and I didn't even use it yet so truthfully I have not actually tried it this is called touch of alpaca it's a line brand made it's three point three point five ounces a hundred grams 270 yards 190 meters it's a four ply and it's 90% acrylic 10% alpaca which is perfect I loved using the alpaca to knit with it was so much fun it was bouncy it slid right off the needles which I needed it to because I was so new I was going to squeak it you know because I was going to be it was going to be tight but um it, the alpaca was not so kind of really like alpaca but these two are in the colorway purple aster and then under that it says aster violet that's really got a marled almost look to it because of the sheen and the twist and it has just a touch of halo just a little tiny bit and then she sent it in this color. There's two of these. Oh, I just love it. Oh my gosh, it, just, it is so much softer than the purple one. I don't know why. They're, it's soft. This is really soft, but this one is even softer because of the dyes. The dyes are different. So this one is called, it's called Crimson. And it is a definite maroon. There's two of those. So I want to just hurry right up and make a hat. But I won't. I won't do that. I appreciate uh, swapping with you. It was so much fun. I almost feel like my box isn't going to be enough to equal this one. <laughs> that I sent her. So what I was thinking was I did not do a swap in my group for St. Patrick's Day oh there was one more thing in the bag oh there was one more thing that she sent me which I'll tell you after this I'll show you after this um I did not do a swap for uh St. Patrick's Day in my group so what I was thinking was that if anybody wants to swap with me for uh St. Patrick's Day um, leave me a comment in this video that mentions the word swap and I'm gonna pick a winner out of this video to swap with for March because I'm not gonna be doing a swap in the group so that'll be interesting who ends up winning that because you know but only only comment the word swap if you want to be included in the in the pick for that and um and all the other comments are fine just whatever you say the other thing that was in this swap with um with my partner was a miniature uh well it's a project bag but i call it a, a notions bag possibly this bag is was specially made for me and in the swap by my partner by Karen Robinson it's Snoopy because I love Snoopy and they all know it so it has a zipper pouch and it has a little a little cross that I will leave on here because I did that the last time I love it it's beautiful and it's kiss me I'm Irish and Snoopy's going around and kissing everybody including peppermint patty who I love her too the inside is a bright green polka dot 
and she does a great job. She left a card in here, and I know some of you know her, Karen Barbera Robinson. I don't know if that's going to focus, but I will link her stuff down in the video for you, down in the description box. Inside that bag were three handmade stitch markers that Karen made and Connie asked her to make. So these babies are all purple ones and I'm hoping, let me get the orange paper. Hoping this, yeah, it's gonna show up pretty good on there. This one has a hummingbird at the top. Beautiful beads. This one is just gorgeous. Look at that bead in the middle. It's just gorgeous. And then the third one is even prettier than that one. Let's see if I can get a hold of it again. This one is so pretty. It's almost like it's got flowers going all around the middle. So I'm not sure if you're gonna you're seeing that or not. But thank you so much, girls. They're so good to me. They spoil me rotten. Okay, so what did I get for myself in this bag? Well, I've been eyeing up the yarns at Expression Fiber Arts for some time now. And I decided for Valentine's I would buy two from the new line that they have um, called Twisted Tweed. So there, the packaging is gorgeous. She mailed this out in this bag it's, it's marble it's gorgeous and on the top of it it says smile mail that's my new thing that i'm going to say when i open up something like this smile mail <laughs> and then the other packaging is even nice too she's got a bag it's double bag and it has her um, name across it. it says right there expression fiber arts right across in light green and then she sends sends you a saying I'm not sure if it's going to show but I'm going to hold it there a second how pretty is that it's a pretty flower it says flowers are the music of the ground from earth's lips spoken without sound it's by edwin curran isn't that beautiful it's very nice and then the yarny goodness okay so i got two hanks of twisted tweed one of them now from what i can see you are seeing the correct colors isn't it something there are maroons there are mauves there are dark brown there's light brown there's cocoa it's got every every color in the rainbow in there it seems like it but on the other hand it's just subtle enough that i just think it's so vintage looking Okay, so this is called Mouflon. It is a twisted tweed sport, 42% fine merino wool, 43% superwash merino wool, and 15% Donegal tweed. It's 384 yards in this hank. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. So sport is very light lighter than dk it's just the soft soft wool that you, you just can't believe how soft this is it smells so nice so to go with it i got kind of a contrast and kind of <laughs> you're not gonna believe it but i have got this mustard on lately that it's just nuts 
but this is what I got to go with it. It's almost mustard. Now this one, again, has all those tweety bits. I just love, 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 love. There's just this little tiny, tiny bit of halo. It's just a very little, you can barely see it in the sport. Isn't it gorgeous? It's almost pinks in there too. And this one is called Twisted Tweed Fox. It's a sport. 42% fine merino wool. 43% superwash merino wool. 15% Donegal. And it's exactly the same kind. So they'll go together perfectly. Ay, ay, ay. I just, I have no idea what I'm going to make yet. <laughs> But we will see. I got to let it marinate for a while because they're not expensive. Uh, they're not cheap. So I think um, I almost want to try something knitted, but I want to practice knitting for a while still before I go jumping in and using an expensive yarn to do that with. But hey, I've been, you know, I wanted. I wanted some, so I got it. All right, well, I hope you all have a great week. I'm going to probably be doing another video with the Knit Crate this week because they're not here yet, and I'll do them both together. So that'll be interesting. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great week, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.